Creating a custom scroll bar is a small and easy way of adding just a little bit more customization to your website, but it doesn't come without its own challenges. So in today's video, we're going to take a look and see how we can create a custom scroll bar, and we're going to make sure that that custom scroll bar works across all browsers. So creating custom scroll bars has always been a bit of a dodgy thing, and the reason for that is because browser compatibilities have just been all over the place. But there's a lot of browsers that do support custom scroll bars. So it's definitely possible, it's just not a standard throughout all of the web. So let's first take a look and see how we can do it in Firefox, and then we'll take a look at Chrome and all the other browsers. So Firefox is actually one of the easier ones that we can do, but it lacks a lot of customization. So this is the default scroll bar for Firefox. This is completely unchanged, I haven't touched it whatsoever. So to create a custom scroll bar in Firefox, we first need to apply it to the root element. We could actually also apply it to the HTML element, but we're just going to apply it to the root element instead. So applying it to the root element, we can define scroll bar and then color. And this takes in two different arguments. The first argument is going to be the thumb. This is the piece that you drag right here. And you can change this to just about any color you want. Let's just do a red color. All right, and then the second argument is actually going to be the track. And the track is this piece that the thumb scrolls on. So the piece that the thumb is not currently on. So we can change that to a, let's say a blue color. And if we save that and I refresh here, you can see that the thumb, which is this draggable piece, is red. And the track is now a blue color. And that is about it for adding color to a scroll bar in Firefox. Now you can add different colors like RGB values, hex values, and you can even add in transparency to it if you want. But there is one more thing that we can add to customize this scroll bar, and that's going to be the width. And that is a little restrained as well. So to do this, we're also going to add it to the root element, and we're going to say scroll bar width and we have three different options here. We have a none value, we have a auto value, and we have a thin value. So the none value is going to completely hide the scroll bar. So if I save this and refresh, you're not gonna see the scroll bar at all. If we use the auto feature, the auto is just going to make the custom scroll bar the same width. It's not going to change the width. That's the normal width of the scroll bar. And then we have the thin option. And the thin option is going to do exactly as it says. It's going to remove those buttons and it's going to make it a lot thinner. And that is our options for customizing scroll bars in Firefox. It's very limited, but it gets the job done. So back here in Chrome, we actually have a lot more customization features but they're not standard, meaning that these things can change at any time without you even knowing. So these are things that you really shouldn't be putting on production sites, but you can if you want to take that risk. So these will work for all WebKit and Blink browsers, and these include Safari, Chrome, Opera, Microsoft Edge, and there's quite a few others as well. So anything that uses the WebKit or Blink Engine will work with this customization feature. So to get this started, we actually have to define one simple thing, and that's going to be the WebKit scroll bar, just like that. And this doesn't even have to have anything special on it, like anything that actually works. So I'm just for now going to add a color of green to this. And you can see that does absolutely nothing other than just get rid of the scroll bar. All this is is just the whole scroll bar. So you'll add things like height and width. We'll come back to that here in a little bit. But you'll add things like height and width to this here. To actually change things, we have quite a few different options. So let's start with the thumb, that piece that we grab and scroll with. So we're going to do the WebKit scroll bar. And then we're going to select the thumb. 
and we can change the background color and we can change the border radius on this as well so let's just change the background color to let's say green and let's just change the border radius to 15 pixels just to give it a little bit of rounding and you can see that scroll bar is back and that's the only thing that's back is that thumb now we can actually add a track to this as well remember the track is that piece that the scroll bar sits inside of so to change the track we're going to use the same way of defining it we're going to do the webkit scroll bar and then we're going to do track and we can actually change the background color of this as well so we can select the background color and we'll let's just change this to a blue color and now you can see that the track has been changed to a blue color now we can actually change the color of the buttons as well the little buttons that you click on to scroll it down a little bit so we are actually going to define it nearly the exact same way we're going to say webkit scroll bar and button and this is going to apply to all of the buttons and we can change the again the background color of this change the background color to let's say a yellow and you can see these buttons well this one it actually works still of course and it's actually got a background color of yellow and there's one more thing that we can actually customize on this as well and that is this actual little corner piece here this I, I don't know why you can customize it but you can so we'll do that as well we'll do the webkit scroll bar corner and we'll just give this a orange color just like that and now you can see this little corner piece here where the two scroll bars connect is actually orange now let's actually go back up here to this webkit scroll bar and as I said before we can actually change the height and the width of the scroll bar using this webkit scroll bar option so we can just change the height which is going to affect the vertical scroll bar and let's just change it to a eight pixels high and the width which is going to affect the vertical scrolling scroll bar and we can change the width to again eight pixels as well and that's going to change the height and the width on both the vertical and the horizontal scrolling scroll bars and we can change this to just about any value you want we can make it like 50 pixels if we really wanted to and we got a massive scroll bar here it's just however you want and there's one more thing that I actually forgot to mention on the track we can actually change the border radius on the track as well so if we wanted the border radius to match the thumb we could change the border radius to a 15 pixels and it's going to match the thumb to that border radius and as I said before, this works right now at least on all of the Blink and WebKit browsers. So I've got Chromium here, you can see has got the custom scroll bar. I've got Microsoft Edge, which you can see has also got our custom scroll bar. And then of course, Opera also has that custom scroll bar as well and that is about it for custom scroll bars and css like i said before if you use it for the webkit and blink browsers just be careful especially if you're using it in a production site it could change at any point in time and you would never even know so if you did like the video make sure you slap a like on it check out the full playlist link is right next to me make sure you subscribe and i will see you in the next one